Well, I had to pull apart my snowblower engine here. Went to drive it across the lawn, and it uh, wouldn't start. It'd run for a few seconds when I dumped gas down the spark plug hole, but it doesn't seem to be getting gas. So, with our new uh, shroud arrangement here that you can see for uh, winter use, uh, had to pull all the head bolts out in order to get it off. You can see it's got various holes through it here that are uh, required. Uh, show you some of the details of it there. Uh, after it was made I stuck this exhaust deflector on. Exhaust used to just come straight out and uh, it would come right out uh, into your uh, pants so you'd since it burns a little oil you, you didn't smell very good by the time you were done uh, doing any snow. And you see there's a little bit of oil sitting on top of the piston. It uh, burns a little bit of oil but it's not a new engine. You see another detail here. Uh, this uh, cutout here, uh, it's an extension. There's no air filter on it. Extension pipe here, and uh, that's where it breathes in through because the top sits right down on there, and the screw goes in to hold it uh, down on the, the part there. That's what uh, this hole here does. So what it does, it uh, blows the cooling air around like normal, past the muffler, and it pulls in uh, pre-warmed air through this hole into the carburetor to uh, help it vaporize and so that it uh, doesn't ice the carburetor up. Uh, most of the uh, snowblower uh, type uh, systems work that way uh, without an air filter and with uh, uh, air pre-warming. Uh, gives you better fuel efficiency and things. Uh, the engine wouldn't run very good with uh, without it. So anyway, just wanted to show you some of the details there. I'm uh, I'm in for a uh, carburetor diaphragm job on it here so I have to pull the muffler off and do that. So anyway just having fun on a five horse.